After warm up, the training session, Evan's gonna need to recover. What I like to do is work from the ground up. And so we have a barrel roller where he's gonna go ahead and roll out his working muscles. In this case, the Achilles tendon, the calf, which take a lot of the rotation as he swings. So Evan's gonna go and roll out two inches, three inches at a time, laterally, medially, straight on, and he's gonna work himself all the way up his calves. He can work himself through his knees into his hamstrings. And even into his glutes. And again, you'd spend five to 10 minutes, maybe even 15 post-workout to really massage out those muscles, get the circulation moving, and just make those muscles pliable and malleable again so that they're nice and fresh when you have to use them again. Another item that we use a lot is something that is more small in diameter, that he can really work on small knots. Uh, baseball players, hitters, after hitting a lot, they have this muscle called the TFL that's responsible for that uh, rotating that leg. So Evan can take a, a small ball or this Accu roller and find his TFL, which sits right between these two bony parts. It's a it's a fleshy area that is that's it really hurts. So he finds it, he finds that trigger, and then about an inch in all directions, he's able to release that knot. And you can see he's done it before because he's doing a little bit of lower leg articulation, moving it up and down, allowing that TFL to really move in all directions to release itself. And you'd spend maybe a minute on each side here. And then working yourself all the way up, Again, rotation's a huge issue. That's when the lower back and your thoracic vertebrae or the middle part of your back receive so much rotation that we really need to get in those muscles and allow them to relax. And that's what myofascial rolling does. It's basically like a rolling pin on those muscles. So he keeps his abdomen tight as he brings it through his lower back. As he gets about to his shoulder blades or his thoracic vertebrae, he can relax his abdomen a little bit and get more movement. He can flex and relax and really is just massaging those muscles that surround his spine to get so overworked during rotation. What this is gonna do is help him reduce the risk of injury and so that he is 100% next time he has to train or next time he has to play a game. Great recovery modalities to do right after a game or right after a training session.